Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back to do a um, monthly reading for you, a love reading. So this time it's going to be general, so it's not necessarily going to be about twin flames or soulmates. It could be any of those. It's just about love. And so any messages that want to come through for you. Also, um, if you want to book a personal reading with me, my Gmail address is in the description box below. You can email me there and I will give you the details. If you want to donate to my channel, also the link is there, the PayPal link. And if you want to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, everything is there as well. Um, so we just went through the new moon yesterday. So I don't know how that was for you guys. I think everything is pretty much the same <laughs> energy wise. So yeah, uh, lots of big changes in the air. That's for sure. Lots and lots of big changes, shifting, things shifting, you know, uh, plans changing, lots of plans, really, because um, just with everything that's going on. So, you know, lots of things changing, lots of people's perspectives are changing and so, and lots of adaptations too, right? Everybody has to adapt. There's a lot of fear as well. So you got to deal with the fear and then to adapt and there is a lot of fear. There are a lot of people that will see it as a great thing. And then there's a lot of people that will see it as a really bad thing. So it depends how you see the situation. You know, you can either decide to suffer or grow with it. So it, it, it is a choice, ultimately, you know. So anyway, um, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate that a lot. And the likes and the shares really do greatly help my channel. Uh, it makes it so that YouTube does suggest it more and then the message goes out more and I would really like it for my English videos to be uh, shared more if that's possible because they, they don't get seen very often, very much anyway compared to the French ones. So that would be nice and I'm just saying like that and uh, that's it. If this reading does not resonate with you today, uh, then the messages are may not be for you today or you're not there yet. So you might want to go check out the March readings, even the February ones. The 2020 are really good um, to go and go and do some check-ins sometimes and see, you know, I did them by season, those ones. That's it, you guys. That's all the messages I needed to tell you for announcements. I have a friend watching live right now. <laughs> My Gemini friend. I offered for her if she wanted to watch it live. So, yeah, she's going to watch both videos because she is bilingual like me. See? <laughs> so, <laughs> she's, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see what messages do we have for my collective of Gemini. Messages in love for April for Gemini. Messages, please. We've got death. All right, we've got death. The two of wands. So we do have someone releasing something or ending something and really now feeling ready to make a decision but not quite sure on how to make that decision or how to go about it. What are the steps? We have Aries energy here with the Emperor. This person is very stable now, feeling very confident feeling like, you know, they needed, they did what they needed to get done and they're pretty much not budging and they're very successful We're here. We have success and victory with the Six of Wands. We do have fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. So we do have very much Aries energy. So you could be dealing 
with Aries or someone with that energy, someone who has a newfound confidence, who has built themselves up um, to have this confidence and be able to succeed in whatever it is that they want to achieve. Um, they have achieved a new stability. They um, could be a very important person so to speak like um uh maybe a big boss or someone like that and that doesn't really have to do much you know everybody else is doing all the work around them and now they could just sit and relish in their success so this could be a businessman that you're dealing with and this person needs to make a decision about something that just after this ending so hmm Let's go check out some more messages here. I forgot my everyday tarot deck on my desk. Hold on. I'll, be right back. Uh, I'll just use my witches. I'll just use my witches. <laughs> okay. Witches tarot deck. Let's see. What other messages do we have for Gemini? Gemini, messages for Gemini, please. April, love, what's going on? So, so we just have someone here not quite sure. They're not budging. They're not moving. They're just waiting. They're waiting, you see, not budging. Not budging. Being very successful at not budging or being very successful in whatever it is that they're doing. But they're not, they feel like they, either they feel like they can't do anything right now, or they're not, they don't feel in a hurry right now to do anything. So they're okay to wait on the best time, on the best time that they feel. I feel someone is waiting, could be you, could be them. You're waiting on them. Fire sign energy. Okay. We've got the page of cups. So an offer coming. An offer coming, something new could be just someone you don't even know just coming through. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Could also be someone you know, but it's just going to start. Something new is going to start. This person already loves you. We have strength. So this, yeah, this is someone who already does have love for you. Already. It's already there and you have. It's a shared Love. Oh my. Again, the Six of Wands right under the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands right under the Six of Wands. This person is very successful, is being is now feeling or will be feeling way stronger. They will have gained the strength to come forward. They will be very successful and they need to feel successful and proud. They want to feel that way. And so, and they have, they've gained that where they didn't have that before. It's coming through now. It's, it's going to come through as something very small in the beginning, but it will quickly um, escalate into something way bigger. So it might come through as a small little offer. You really have to go slowly you have to let this person come on their own. You can't, this person is, okay? This person is finally feeling like this, okay? And they're going to come in like this, okay? But they're feeling, they're feeling way better, okay? But they're going to come in like this with something small, okay? But it doesn't mean that it's going to stay like that. So don't 
rush. Do not rush this person. This person has a lot of love on reserve for you. So this person is not going to show you exactly how they feel right away. They have the love is there. It's there for, to give to you, but they are going to start real slow and they are going to go real fast if you they have they're coming in like this because that's how they feel they feel like a page they feel just wanting to offer something small for now so you just have to take i'm not telling you to take what's on offer if you don't feel it if you feel like nope this is not for me i don't want this then that is free will and that's what you um then just follow your instinct and follow your desires but i'm just saying that this person does have that love and so if you want this then you just should know that this person is or has gained the strength to come forward they won't come with anything big straight away but if you have a little bit of patience and you really want this then you'll just let it flow just the way it just if it comes to you after all this time that means the connection is there and just to let it come just let it come at its speed don't try to control it that's the whole lesson the whole twin flame is about trying to control the outcome and then we want to communicate we want to communicate and we do and we do but now we're kind of like learning to communicate in a way that is not putting any kind of pressure and that's just way better because you can keep you can maybe keep the connection that way depending when there's pressure, then the connection kind of shuts down, or the communication does anyway, that's for sure. Communication shuts down when there are expectations or expectations that are felt. And those separations, of course, are necessary. But we're not necessarily talking about Twin Flame here. I'm, I'm just saying that if you feel like you want to communicate with this person, um, you could just do it without maybe putting any kind of pressure on them. Anyway, you'll feel it. You gotta feel it. You gotta follow your intuition on this one. We have the Three of Pentacles. So we have, we have the Three of Pentacles, my friend. <laughs> Uh, we have the King of Buckets, the Papa of Buckets, the King of Cups, King of Cups. I love the King of Cups. So great. King of Cups is full of love. Um, we do have, a king, uh, with the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups, we do have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. We have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. So this King of Cups is all up in his head about you. They're questioning. They could be questioning also their own, not just you, but their own life. And there could be a third party situation. We don't know here with the Three of Pentacles. Could be just um, uh, the block. Whatever is blocking this connection. This could be anything. Anything blocking the connection, third party doesn't necessarily be, uh, is not necessarily someone. We have the higher font right here. So this is divinely guided. They are being divinely guided here. They are being protected, okay? In their, I get the feeling that your person is really up in their heads and they are praying and they're asking for guidance on what to do and how to move forward here. They're asking for guidance, actually. And they're protected. This connection is divinely protected. You're protected, your person is protected, and the connection is protected. So just for you to have faith that it's not it's not going to fade right now and some of you might get a bit discouraged at that because you figure well if if this, this doesn't fade and if it keeps on like this when you know and if union isn't happening what's going to happen it's not 
a regular it's it's not necessarily your regular connection here you guys so um, I don't know why I'm being guided to some twin flame messages I'm just being guided about <laughs> I don't know why but it feels like twin flame messages but anyway I'm just saying that you are divinely guided. You are divinely protected, both of you, you and your person. There's a lot of love here, a lot, a lot. And there's a lot of passion as well. And there's a lot of healing and questioning. And there is a little bit of turmoil in there. So, just saying. going to pull out an oracle card from here of course these monthly readings will be shorter I try to keep them at 15 16 minutes and we're already at 16 minutes so I'm just going to pull out a couple of oracle cards for you guys and I don't know what to tell you guys there is something beautiful coming through for you there is a small blockage there still but once that gets solved and gets, you know, divine, and look, it's your, your person is divinely guided to break out of that whole worrying and overthinking about things and just moving on. So your person, or could be you, divinely guided into that. So that cycle should be ending. There is another cycle that ended already. So another one coming as well. We've got round and round, see? Right here, round and round. And it's the same as the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is about overthinking. It's about going round and round. And it's about this situation as well, going round and round. It seems like a never ending thing. And both parties know this and feel this now and feel the urgency to end this round and round business. So your person might be coming in to communicate and say something in order to fix this or end this cycle of just, it's never ending. It's a never ending. It's overthinking, a lot of overthinking, a lot. I'm going to pull out a Gabriel Bernstein for your April reading, Gemini. One of these beautiful messages, very positive for your April. What does Gemini need to know right now for April? Please in love. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am I'm being guided. It's beautiful. So this is a beautiful thought, beautiful uh, mantra as well. And let's see one last message from my book. One last message. You guys, it's long. It wasn't that long for, for the Aries and Taurus. Okay, last message. We've got let yourself fall hard. Let yourself fall hard. So if there is an opportunity to see someone or to date around, don't keep from doing that because you figure you have to stay for your twin if this is a twin flame thing that we're talking about don't you know whatever happens happens you know and there's always you can always change it you can always change it nothing is like you know stuck in in, in stone here nothing nothing okay so those are all the messages for you guys, Gemini. Thank you so much again for being here and your presence and your subscriptions and your likes and your shares. And I'll be back soon with another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.